Greetings from Jair Guru. I'm Georgica and for the most of you I know it's really hard to pronounce my name but it means Lily of the Valley and yes it's a flower <laughs> yes anyway I'm QA engineer here at Jair Guru and also things I'm really passionate about is transforming my ideas and concept into any kind of content. Cool. <laughs> my name is Boyan Gozeretz and I'm a senior JavaScript developer here at JS Guru. My name doesn't mean anything, so moving on. Okay, we started this JS Guru Talks, or let's call it Vlogs, uh, because we want to share a slice of cake with you, meaning we want to share a bit of working atmosphere and thoughts of one of software development companies. Yeah, what we noticed when we were doing our blogs is an incredible amount of engagement uh, from you guys. So we wanted to take it up a notch with our blogs and we decided to create our video blogs. Boom. Vlogs. So what we're going to do in our vlogs is we're going to talk about trend trending topics in IT, both from the business side as well as the tech and development, development side. That's right. So today we are talking about PVA and no, I do not mean Pro Wrestling Australia competition, trust us, we googled that. Uh, we are talking about progressive web apps. So uh, if you're building something for the web, uh, PVA is probably the buzzword in your oh, work for vocabulary. Sure. Yes, or it should be, uh, because uh, it's, as I recall, it's the new software methodology and as I understood, some sort of hybrid of website and a mobile app, right? Yeah, sort so of. So can you tell us more about PVA in general? Oh yeah, so for starters, it's called Progressive Web Awesome. Okay. No, not okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <Continue>. it's, <laughs> uh, PWA stands for Progressive Web Apps and the reason why they're called that is because they are web apps that progressively get better the more the user actually uses them. Okay. Um, can you tell us some key features, biggest benefits, or even better, we can talk why should business even care about PBAs? Oh, of course. So there are a couple of really cool features that PWAs implement yep. that are really useful for businesses. So uh, the first one we're going to talk about is offline mode. So it, the, it, in my opinion, it is one of the biggest jumps yep in web app technology so what offline mode does is it enables your web app or page to run without an internet connection in offline mode of course so yeah. the reason why that's so important for businesses is because it allows a business to fully immerse a user in their product and in their brand so you don't right. get the default you know no offline internet, mode no yeah. internet connection screen with all the dinosaur that jumps around shit you get a uh, fully branded web page that just displays you know I don't have an interconnection and of course you can handle that the other really cool thing yeah. offline mode does is it allows you to display previously accessed content and resource so if a user accessed your web app he went to an article he can without an internet connection go back to that article and load yeah. it awesome any other benefits uh, yeah the second one I want to talk about is preloading or progressive caching so what this allows is t for a user yep. that is accessing your web app to fetch resources that they have not yet accessed. So you preload them, you predict which users, which con or the resources the user will uh, need, and you download them and save them into your device's memory. So when the user actually requests them, they're available immediately. Yeah, but why is it good for the business side? So uh, we know from tons of case studies that uh, page speed is directly related to a business's revenue. So the faster yeah. a page loads, the more money a business is generating. So that's like a direct relation why you should care about preload pre and yeah, logical, progressive right? caching. Yeah. So another benefit? Uh, the last one I want to talk about is push notifications. And this is like a really cool feature and I love it because it allows a business and a web app to re-engage yeah. users. You know, you get to say, hey, uh, I'm a product, I'm a brand, I exist. Okay, it sounds great, but here's what I thought. Since some websites implement, I don't know, uh, sharing only for things mostly or commonly used in their own region. Uh, for example, we 
mostly use Viber app here at Balkans and I think I might have a problem there because when I want to share a link from my favorite Husky photo site uh, All day. I yes I do I have to copy the ugly URL go to Viber app and paste that URL and send it to you because you're a Husky fanboy, right? Husky love. <laughs> and anyway, uh, because the Husky photo site and many more simply didn't implement anything. So is there any way uh, that PVA can help with that, with that sharing? Oh yeah, there's this really cool tech called WebShare. Yeah. And what it does is with a single line of code, uh, a device can invoke, that is the web, PWA can invoke the native sharing capabilities of the user's device. So you're not region locked, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter where you're, where you're at or what the web app actually has implemented for sharing, it invokes the native sh sharing capabilities of the user's device. So the apps that you have installed are the same ones that you can share to, meaning the most relevant to you. Yeah. Cool, but to show that all of this is not just some silly chit-chatting or funny games, uh, can we talk about some actual uh, big one success stories, case studies or something about PVA? Oh yeah, thank you for asking that. Not, totally not scripted question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I have a list here of some businesses that have switched to PWAs and yeah. saw incredible growth. The first yeah, one you. is AliExpress which for you don't know is one of the biggest sourcing websites on the planet yeah. and when they switched to progressive web apps they saw a 104 percent uh, increase for new users across all browsers and 82 percent increase in ios conversion rate the other statistic is they saw two times more page visited per session per user across all browsers they also saw a 74 percent increase in time spent per session across all browsers. Wow, that's some pretty yeah, great statistics, amazing. yeah. Yeah, the second one is Jumia, which for you not living in Africa, might know that it is the, the leading e-commerce site in Africa. And they had a problem where a lot of their users, users would abandon their shopping carts. They tried to solve it with emails, but let's be honest, Probably no one opens right. emails about yes. that stuff. So what they did, they implemented push notifications and they saw 38% open rate for push notifications which is incredible, nearly 40% yeah. opening. Uh, they saw nine times more conversion on previously abandoned cards for web push users. They also saw, and this is like my favorite statistic here, yeah. is they saw the 7.85% conversion rate on previously abandoned cards for web push user, users versus just 4.5% for native app. So PWA push notification is actually better than its native counterpart. Wow. Awesome. Great. And of course, we can't not talk about Twitter. Uh, when Twitter yes. switched to progressive web apps, it immediately became the default way for users to interact with Twitter. And the, st the statistics show it. So we see that it's 65% increase in pages per session. They saw a 75% increase in tweets nice. sent. And they saw, and uh, like the best statistic out here yeah. is 20% decrease in bounce rate, which is incredibly important for businesses. Yeah, actually, I think all of this is actually from Google case study, right? Yes, yes, from Google case studies, mm -hmm. and we have links in the description box. Of course. Uh, so yeah, so after more? going through this list yeah. and through these examples, I hope I persuaded you and all of you to check out Progressive Web Apps and maybe you'll see why there's such a huge benefit to your business. Yeah, actually, they seem pretty logical to use. Oh, yeah. So. Thank you anyway for your time. We really hope that you all liked our video because we do plan more of this in the future. And we'll be talking about some trending topics, uh, analyze key features, yes. some pros and cons about some subject. And of course, we'll give you our conclusion. So from business side, also tech or development side. Yes. Anyway, once again, thank you and stay tuned. Thank you.